Manantial de Salud, Dove Springs. Did you know that 12.5% of Hispanic adults smoke in the United States? And that's compared to 20% of all adults in America. And another fact, Hispanics, compared to the general population, tend to smoke less cigarettes daily, and they tend not to smoke every day. And because of these things, it's easy to think that smoking in the Hispanic community is not a problem. But studies show us that it is a problem, because Hispanics are more likely to smoke for social reasons, which makes it harder to quit. They're also less likely to seek out medical treatments or other services to help them quit smoking. Smoking is a problem because it causes so many other medical conditions. It can cause you to have a heart attack, a stroke, heart disease, it can also make asthma worse, and make you much more likely to suffer from cancer. What also really scares me as a pediatrician is that if your kids see you smoke, they're much more likely to smoke themselves. And if your child has fragile lungs, has asthma, or any breathing trouble, smoking makes all of that worse. Even if your kids have great healthy lungs, smoking is really bad for them too. Some kids who have never had asthma can even have an asthma attack if they're exposed to smoke. That can be inside the house or even can just be outside. Other places that kids can be exposed to secondhand smoke could be in the car. You might see some folks driving down the road with the windows down and smoke coming out. That's really not a good way to prevent your children from being exposed to the smoke. If you ask them when you're smoking in the car, even with the windows down, if they smell it, they're going to tell you yes. Kids can also be exposed to smoke if they go to a party or a restaurant where there is smoking allowed. So really think about asking for that non-smoking section from smoking indoors and away from any of that smoke. Any amount of smoke is dangerous and we really want to protect our kids and keep them safe. So we want to keep them away from smoke. So if you aren't smoking very often, this could be a great time to quit. If you smoke less than five cigarettes per day, or you go more than half an hour or an hour in the morning before your first cigarette, these are great signs that your body is not yet addicted to the cigarettes. So this is a great time to quit. What I find often happens with parents is they might not smoke much now, but then they hit a stressful part of their life. When that comes, then they all of a sudden are smoking more, and then when they're ready to quit again, their body's addicted and it makes it much more difficult. So our challenge is, for one, if you smoke, try to cut back and quit. Try to be a great example for your family and for your kids. Number two, talk to your kids about smoking. Let them know the dangers and why the easiest thing is to never start. And number three, let's work together to try and keep Austin smoke free. Think about different ways to prevent your children from being exposed to smoke and keep them away from those places. 